So Team Pripson is an interdisciplinary team which aims to uh, make a total artificial heart. So this involves designing, manufacturing, and uh, developing like the business plan to make a total artificial heart. It's an interdisciplinary team on many aspects. First of all, it's a mixture between graduates and undergraduate students in AEC and we have a lot of different majors in the team. Our team in specific is divided into four sub-teams, um, design, electronics, manufacturing, and the business side. They recruited me as their graphic designer to be part of the uh, operations and marketing team. At first it was a bit intimidating to work with a lot of engineers and I felt like I was really out of my depth. Um, but I realized that I do have skills to offer as well. Um, just Not just because I'm not an engineer, I don't have anything to offer. Like I have a lot of technical skills to offer. I'm very excited because um, I started learning things that I never even thought about before. We won most novel idea in Heart Hackathon, where the finals were uh, happened at uh, Dallas, Texas, in the International um, Society for Mechanical Circulatory Support. It was very exciting, honestly, because it felt like the a whole year of working together finally paid off, and we got the most novel idea. And we have something tangible, like we have like the, the guys came from Texas with something that proves that we impacted like a lot of people there. I was very excited to hear that we got the Most Novel Idea Award. Um, for me, it felt as though uh, a lot of the different designs and a lot of the hard work that we had uh, put into and all the effort that we had put into the mock circulation loop and many different aspects of the competition uh, were finally paid off and were very well recognized by the uh, Heart Hackathon team. They were impressed by our idea. Like we have a lot to offer. We were the only team from uh, the Middle East and the Arab region and Africa and everything. Why, why do we use a total artificial heart? Because when a person has heart failure and surgery isn't an option and there's no way you can improve the heart of a patient, you basically substitute this heart with an artificial heart. And then the artificial hearts that are in the market these days uh, currently have the problem of several problems. For example, like the battery is outside of the person so there's a drive line entering from the battery to the inside of the pump, which is inside the person. So you can imagine that 20% of patients having a total artificial heart die of drive line infections. So this is a problem. The mock circulation loop as seen uh, in front of you is basically just a closed loop that would be able to test out the artificial heart. And so uh, this design allows for uh, water to be filled this uh, in this atrial system and then pass through the uh, valve and reach where our artificial heart would be. So this is the material we used, it's called SMA. Uh, we're supposed to send electrical impulses and it's going to be wrapped around the artificial heart. So in order to mimic the contraction of the heart, uh, it's going to be moving inwards and outwards. Uh, and this is how we're going to mimic the circulation of uh, the blood in the heart.